Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. The topic of this video is concentrating fusion and this one um, covers adding the drug to a patient's fluid bag. In the problem we'll be solving for this video, the drug CRI dosage units will be in milligram per kilogram per hour. The drug concentration units will be in milligram per milliliter. A little bit of an introduction, concentrated fusion is also known as CRI. Um, and this allows for the administration of a particular drug at a continuous rate over time. Um, what you need to know in order to solve a CRI problem is the patient's weight, the drug's CRI dosage, the drug's concentration, the volume of fluids in the fluid bag, and the desired total fluid rate. Here is a little bit of a plug. This is our Medical Mathematics for Veterinary Professionals and Tables book. It covers so much detail and has tons of practice problems along with step-by-step -step solutions, which will truly turn you into a CRI pro. The problem for the video today is a 15 kilogram dog needs to be placed on lidocaine CRI at three milligrams per keg per hour IV. Using a 20 milligram per milliliter lidocaine solution, a fluid bag filled with one liter of diluent needs to be concentrated such that the patient will receive the correct CRI dosage when using a fluid rate of 75 milliliters per hour. So your job is to find the volume of the lidocaine solution needed. What I like to do with any math problem is look at the numbers that you're given. Highlight them, circle them, star them, whatever you need to do, and that will help you put together all the pieces so that you can solve the problem. So here on the next slide, that is exactly what we did. So you can see the 15 kilograms is one of our numbers. The three milligrams per kilogram per hour is another. 20 milligrams per milliliter, one liter, and then your 75 milliliters per hour. So those are all the values that you are given. Now to put them together. And this is how I like to set up my problem. Um, and in a minute you'll see why, but I like to have the two sections and then you'll see how they come together. I always like to start with the easy. So you know your patient's weight. In this case, we know it's 15 kilograms. Sometimes when you weigh patients in the hospital, you might have the weight in pounds. So remember, if you do have the weight in pounds, always convert to kilograms first. Your units need to be the same. Um, so in this case, 15 kilogram, that's our weight. Um, the dosage you can find in your drug resource book. In this case, it's three milligrams per kilogram per hour. So putting those together is where I like to start. So right here, the drug rate, 15 kilograms times three milligrams per kilogram per hour, that will give us 45 milligrams per hour. Underneath, we showed how we multiply and how those units cancel out. So as you can see, the kilograms cancel out to leave you with the milligrams per hour. Now you have milligrams per hour, but remember we're dealing with lidocaine solution, it's liquid. So you need to convert the milligram into a liquid or a volume. And how you do that is by using the concentration given, which we have here. So you know it's 20 milligrams per milliliters of a lidocaine solution. So you'll take the 45 milligrams per hour, they just calculated, divided by 20 milligrams per milliliter, which is the concentration of your lidocaine. And then that will leave you with 2.25 mils per hour. Again, underneath, we show really quickly how we get to that answer. You basically multiply and then flip the second fraction and that's how you get the units the milligrams to cancel out leaving you with the milliliters per hour so now you have an amount in milliliters per hour and you might say well how do i find out how many hours i need um, and it's pretty simple so you do have a fluid rate of 75 milliliters per hour and you also have a fluid bag of one liter so what you need to do is you need to find out or solve 
how long your fluid bag will last, how many hours you will get out of your fluid bag. So that is going to go on this side. Uh, we start with your fluid bag amount or the volume in your fluid bag, which is one liter. And remember again, units need to be the same. Your fluid rate is in milliliters per hour. So convert the liter to milliliter, which is 1000 milliliters. Again, uh, we know there's 1000 milliliters in one liter. So that's how we solve for that. Um, then you need to figure out how long it'll last. You get the answer by taking your 1000 milliliters of volume that you have in your fluid bag, dividing it by your fluid rate. So right there, 1,000 milliliters divided by 75 moles per hour, and that will give you 13.33 hours. Again, we saw show underneath how to solve for that. Same as just like we did on the other side. You take the division, change it to multiplication, flip the second fraction over. Your units, in this case milliliters, will cancel out leaving you with hours. Now we have the drug rate, which is in milliliters per hour, that 2.25 milliliters per hour, and we have the fluid bag hours. We know it's gonna last us 13.33 hours. So this is where we put these two together. Um, you will take your drug rate, multiply it by your fluid bag hours, which again is a 2.25 milliliters per hour times of 13.33 hours, your hours will cancel out, leaving you with 29.99 milliliters. So that is the solution. Remember to get the correct CRI dosage to your patient to first remove the same volume of fluids from the fluid bag, then add the drug to the fluid bag and mix the bag well. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment underneath and I'll be sure to answer. Also be sure to hit like, subscribe, and also hit the bell notification. That way when we release our new video, you will be sure to be notified of the release. Um, and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you.